Today we're making three different options for fast breakfast. If you need a breakfast on the go, this is the option. A complete breakfast, easy to do, and well, with my Mexican twist. Welcome to mi casa, que es tu casa. Let's begin with this amazing breakfast. We're gonna begin with my favorite one. This is the oatmeal shake. It's really easy to do and it's so delicious and perfect to take on the go. I love bananas. They are full of sugar and potassium. So if you are a diabetic, just be careful. You can use strawberries instead of, if, of bananas because bananas are one of the fruits with more sugar on it. And with strawberries, it still tastes great. Well, I'm gonna teach you a little secret. These are my frozen bananas. When they are becoming brown, I just stay, I get off the skin and then I put it in the freezer and leave them there. They just make it this, this, this shake to become like a smoothie. When the banana is frozen, it gets an amazing taste and it's so fresh now for the summer. I just love that. We're gonna add seven almonds that is gonna give you fiber as well that healthy fats. We're gonna add some Mexican vanilla. This is gonna be a spoon of Mexican vanilla for more flavor. Three spoons of oatmeal. I always like the old fashioned oatmeal. Try to buy that one, it's healthier. And we're gonna add a pinch of canela, cinnamon. Mm -hmm. And then one cup of low fat milk. You can use almond milk, soy milk, coconut milk, whatever you prefer. Even if you're a vegetarian, just use the one of your preference. Now let's blend all this together and we are all set. You can use a mason jar or whatever glass you have and just take it with you. This is perfect if you guys go to the gym, you can have it before working out or even if you never have time for your children to eat before going to school, you can give them this in the car and they just can have it on the go and it's great. Any it dates? Mm -hmm. Delicious. So let's go with the second healthy option for breakfast in less than three minutes. I have a whole wheat bread and now I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use aguacate. We're gonna use some avocado and I'm just gonna cut a few slices. Remember that avocado, it contains a lot of fiber and it's great for you because these are healthy fat options. So eat a lot of avocado. And I have an avocado dressing that is gonna be soon on my YouTube channel that you are gonna love. I, I always try to eat avocado in most of my recipes. So we're gonna add some slices of this beautiful avocado. We're gonna add some egg. Remember that egg is a great source of protein and I love these hard eggs that you just have to boil them to boil. I boil them for five minutes and then I turn off the fire and I leave them there just to cool down and that's enough to get them all cooked and beautiful and they are so tasty. I love uh, I love this kind of egg. It just reminds me, my father used to have a lot of this when we were kids in the fridge just in case of any emergency. I'm gonna add some tomato that is gonna give you tons of potassium and we're gonna add some salad on top. And we are all set with our second healthy option for breakfast. Well, this is the third option and I'm gonna teach you how to make an open quesadilla. We'll call them volcanoes and they are great when you have a barbecue and this is perfect for breakfast for you or the kids. I'm gonna create some queso fresco or you can find it also as queso boricua. This is a very low fat cheese that we have in Mexico and Latin American countries. Other way, I'm using 60 grams. It's gonna appear here in ounces. Other way, if you want to use mozzarella, queso chihuahua, more fattening cheese, just use half of it, like 30 grams. That's gonna be the perfect option to keep it healthy. So I'm just grating this cheese and I'm gonna use a spinach. I'm gonna use a spinach so we can add some vegetables. Always remember, if you wanna like a full breakfast with all the nutrients you need, you need a carb, you need vegetables, you need fruit, and you need protein. So we are gonna have over here our calcium, some proteins from the cheese. We're gonna have our veggies and also some low fat milk you can choose. You can have uh, you can have almond milk, soy milk, coconut milk, cow milk, whatever you prefer and the fruit of your preference. So let's begin with this quesadilla. I have a corn tortilla over here. Always try to use corn tortillas. Flour tortillas, they are not as healthy. Corn tortillas, if you toast them well, your, your body's gonna digest it as fiber. With the flour tortillas, that's gonna be impossible. So I'm gonna add some of the grated cheese over here, and we're gonna put our spinach in here, about a cup of spinach, I'm adding in here, and that's just gonna lead them to lose some water so we can put it on top of our quesadilla. Mm 
Okay, they are all set. We're going to put them on top of the quesadilla. There we go. And we're going to make a volcano. A volcano is just an open quesadilla with whatever you want and also some more cheese on top. We like to do this on the barbecue. They turn out amazing. I hope I can make you some carne asada very soon. And I'm going to teach you how to make this kind of quesadillas in the barbecue. Now we're going to flip them over. Be careful with the cheese. There we go. This is our volcano quesadilla. So for the egg sandwich and for the quesadilla, you will need a fruit and one cup of milk. For the shake, you are all set and right away just to go on the go. I hope you enjoy it. Please follow me on Facebook as a Spicy Latina Mom, in Instagram, in, in Twitter, everywhere. So I hope you enjoy my channel. Please subscribe, give me a thumb up, and I see you next week with another deliciosa receta.